Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Nanny News. It's your host, Ashley, AKA Nanny Announcements. <laughs> and this episode, we are in for our last interview. So for the past four weeks, we have posted a new episode with a new nanny sharing their story. We have sat down with five extraordinary nannies and heard their stories. Our first week was Courtney, which goes by everything underscore Courtney. Our next week was Nanny Miss Monique, which goes by Nanny Miss Monique. <laughs> we also had Meeches. Meeches was on us uh, as well. She goes by Fantastic Professional Nanny. And then last week was Sarah, AKA The Modern Nanny. And this week is, are y'all ready? This week is all about a nanny who is a 34 year old girl, woman, a queer black nanny, been in this industry for 16 years, she started out as doing one-on-ones with autistic children and then transferred, transition, I'm sorry, transition into being a preschool, working with preschool children. Now, who am I talking about? This week is all about Cammy, guys. And she goes by nanny underscore Cam. Guys, I'm so excited for you guys to hear her story, find out how she is make, doing her thing in this industry, find out what she got coming up in this industry. So sit back, relax, and let's hear a little bit more about Cammie. Hey guys, so we are sitting down with Nanny Cam, Cammy. under her Instagram name is Nanny underscore Cam, um, and we get to hear her story and allow her to share who she is as a nanny. So Cammy, I'm going to, we're going to start out with um, where are you from, where are you working at right now, and how long you've been a nanny? <laughs> Okay. Um, so I am originally from Wisconsin, um, in Atlanta. I have been okay. here, what? Oh my goodness. Two years now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have been a nanny for, wow, 10 years. Okay. Yeah. I took, yeah. <laughs> Um, I took a year off and I followed one of my nanny kiddos to preschool and then okay. I just back into it. But yeah, even with that, I'm pretty sure I'm at about 10 years now. That's wild. <laughs> Isn't it crazy to really sit back and think about like, you're like, wait, 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 it's been this long already? Yeah. Time flies when you're having fun, you know? <laughs> <laughs> um, so what made you move to Atlanta? Was it for nannying or... Did you want to just get out of Wisconsin? <laughs> um, well, I said I didn't want to do any more winters in Wisconsin. Um, <laughs> and then also, I really wanted to be around more people that looked like me. And okay. I really All wanted right. to be around people that looked like me, but also identified. Like, so I wanted to be around, you know, more queer folks. <laughs> yeah, no, um, that's, yeah, that's really cool. So happy to move right when everything like shut down so the first year here was like oh well we moved here for one reason and haven't been able to enjoy any of that so <laughs> the um, panini press kind of put a damper in everything did it oh man yeah, yeah. Also, it's a lot better but, now and then even here hasn't been too bad <laughs> yeah been a, it hasn't too bad yeah. <laughs> you get adjusted I'm not gonna lie though like I you know moving I I give, I give myself like two, three years before I feel like comfortable because the first oh. year you just, you know, you just, you getting comfortable, you know, you just getting yeah. used to moving and getting the environment. Then the second year you're trying to make your money. And then the third year it's like, you could finally try to like enjoy where you're at. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, so why did you become a career nanny? Was there a specific moment that clicked like, oh yeah, this is for me. Or did you just, you know, was like, I'm just going to do this. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, I feel like it was a little bit of both. Um, my mom is a teacher, so I've been okay. like around kiddos pretty much like all of my life. Um, I started off babysitting for like family members and stuff like that. Okay. Um, and then I volunteered in my mom's um, Head Start classroom. Ooh, I was in like yep. middle school. So it was like, you know, volunteer, volunteer points and stuff like that. Um, but I really enjoyed it. And I found that I was like able to make connections with the little kiddos and stuff like that. Um, mm -hmm. And then by 18, by the time I graduated from high school, I had my first like school district, like, real position mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I with children um autistic children and early childhood what else okay. yeah okay. so that's how that's how I got into it um and then I probably got my first nanny kiddo I was still fairly young maybe like 20 um okay. I started off, like nannying for a family for the summer and I don't know. I really, I enjoyed it so much, but going from like being in the school district to nannying, I was just like, okay, I loved, I loved the kiddos in the school district, but like, you know, the politics and mm -hmm. the, the really like rigorous set schedule and all of that. I was just like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. And then I left and I said that I would only go back if it was like a Montessori school or like um, mm. child child led like um, philosophies, yep, or whatever. Um, so then that's how I ended up following my <laughs> nanny kiddo to preschool because um, mom was like, "Oh, you should see if you can." So then you can kind of like keep an eye on her and stuff. And I ended up getting the position. I was there for a year, um, and then I moved to a different city within Wisconsin. It but okay. I so <laughs> many okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like you like uh, in and out, in and out, which is yeah. like, like I think it, you know, gives yeah. you it kind of helps with the burnout situation sometimes. Like, you know, switching it up every once in a while is it's nice. Yeah. So but I mean I, I only so. hopped out. I only hopped out for like a year and then I was like <laughs> I got, oh, I got offered, that. Um, a position, a nanny position when I moved to Madison and I was like weighing the options because I was Still a little conflicted within yep. like moving from Milwaukee to Madison. And mm -hmm. then when I got the offer, I was just like, you know, oh, do, yeah. do, 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 calculating. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, this is me. okay. <laughs> I can do Bye. this. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> like, like, okay, yeah, this is for me. <laughs> yeah, no, I feel you. <laughs> um, so as of right now, what is your daily schedule and week look like? Are you working with some kids now or um, are you just, you know, doing anything? What you doing? What's your daily schedule like? <laughs> <laughs> um, so my current family, I have a, he is 19 months. Um, Ooh, okay. I work Monday through Thursday, 32 hours Ooh. a week. Um, so schedule. on Fridays. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the best schedule, girl. I have it. Yeah. Yeah. When I first started with them, I was three days a week. Um, and then we added another day. So I was off Mondays and Fridays. Yeah. Oh, but, you know, that wasn't. For me, I needed a little, you know. <laughs> yeah, you need a little bit more. Yeah, you're like, yeah. Yeah, no, I feel um, you. But it's been, a, um, it's been a really fulfilling position for, you. The, you know, mostly. Um, I, my I know. year is coming up in June, so we have a little, you know, a few things. I, <laughs> I feel you. Work out, I, but I love, I love, I love my kiddo. He's like no, so... Yeah. It's always the kiddos we love. It's yeah, just he's so it's full of personality and like he's, he's, he's like the cutest. So, yeah. Oh, that's good. No, I feel you on that one. Sometimes, you know, every year we need to sit back down. <laughs> that's yeah. all we need to do is to readjust. My, it's so funny because my year coming up in June too and I'm doing the oh, exact wow. same, th same thing as you. <laughs> I need to sit down with them and we're going to su suggest some things. Mm -hmm. Suggest. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, all right. So what is your favorite? I'm sorry, what is your funny nanny story? Do you have a nanny story that just sticks out to you that's funny or crazy that you could share? <laughs> Give me I know I'll come put you on the spot. Um, yeah, I don't know. Wow, I don't know if it's any poop stories, any throw up stories. Oh. You know, we got all, we know we got all of them. I oh my goodness. I do have a throw up story, but it 
I was babysitting. Um, that's okay. We still, that's, okay. That's well, part, that's I, still part of it. <laughs> I don't know if it was, it, it wasn't funny to me in the moment, but it was very crazy. I would say, um, this was, you know, sometimes when you babysit, you, you don't, this is your first time meeting the family. Yeah, um, you don't like the kids that way. <laughs> we, <laughs> yeah, and it was a um, three-year-old and a six-year-old. And, okay. you know, the parents were cool. The kids, kiddos were fine. Um, we were eating pizza. And Ooh. eldest, like, he just, he, um, first he was very standoffish. So, you know, we were giving him his time to, like, warm up. And then um, he came over and just laid on me on the couch. And I was like, oh, you warming up. And I was rubbing his back or whatever. And, you know, next thing I know, <laughs> my eye was getting exorcist, projectile, throw oh, yeah. up, all, ah, <laughs> all over, oh. like my lower half. <laughs> and I, you know, in that moment, the only thing I did, I could do was react. And I just, I jumped up so fast. And then he ran to like three other spots in the living room and just was. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. and that's like, that was like the first time that that something. That, that, happened. that like, traumatic <laughs> happened to me. Yeah. Other you know, time, like I can predict or kind of like. Cause I know, I know my, kids. you know, your kids. you can like yeah. tell, like, you know, or like, I can like, oh, you look like, let me look, you know, get you, <laughs> get yourself prepared for what's coming. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So I, I called the parents and I was like, uh, you guys probably need to come home because mm -hmm. I get it, girl. I would have called them too quick. I, that's one thing I just can't do. Like every time I, yeah, see them, like, was, I you know, it was, not a, it was not a good one. It was, <laughs> he old, so it's not no formula. It's yeah, legit. Like pizza and stuff too, and I just, you know, they were like, "Oh, this has never happened before. Maybe he ate too much." And I was of like, course. "Of course, it never happens." <laughs> oh, great! <laughs> and then what do oh, you want me to do? Oh. Like, yeah, yeah, then I had to give him a bath, but I was still like, I was, I was covered, and I didn't have a, <laughs> I didn't have a change of clothes. It was like on my socks and all types of stuff. It, yeah, so I really had to. You they were very apologetic when they got home, but <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. I really wanted to. I really wanted to send them an invoice, also like an oh, extra sure. invoice. <sighs> but I survived. <laughs> but I didn't go back because I was supposed to babysit again for them, and I was just like, no thanks. <laughs> I was just about to ask you. I was like, so did you ever go back? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was done the same thing. Oh man, no. that is crazy. Ugh, that's just one of those things. I just. <laughs> Ooh, every time it happens, I'm like, yeah, that's on y'all. But I could do everything yeah. else. But when it ha that happens, y'all will instantly be getting the call from me. Right. <laughs> instantly. I said, I just don't do those things. Yeah. <laughs> so the family that you're working with now, um, did you find them? Are you a freelance nanny or are you an agency nanny or are you both? <laughs> are you um, both? I was a freelance. When I first started, I was on care.com. Yep. Okay. You know, 10 years, eight, nine, 10 years ago, care.com, you know, I was like, oh, um, I'm I not a huge care.com fan now. I don't know if I should be saying this, but um, okay. I'm, I'm proud to say it too. I think, I've never I think it way. works for the people. It works for who it needs to work for. Exactly. Um, but I am mm -hmm. an agency, definitely pro agency, <laughs> pro agency, um, you especially when it comes to like working with first time parents because yeah. there's a lot of stuff that they don't know when it comes to like being employers and employing a nanny specifically so I like the fact that the agency good agencies usually are like you know tell everybody everything they need to know up front um they let them know about guaranteed hours kind of like yep. the standard when it comes to benefits and things like that so it takes a lot of like extra labor off of me <laughs> yes I <laughs> feel you that's advocating for nannies too as far as like pay and things like that too so yes I feel you that I you sorry you ran me so much me in because <laughs> <Right? 'Cause> like, <laughs> the same way like uh -uh. like yeah. I, I'm I, it's like I'm with you like it depends on the person but yes I think agencies are the you know depending it's like everybody has their different differences but I'm mm -hmm. with you agencies it, it gets just we ain't gotta do that little extra labor by right. selling us, <laughs> selling us even more. So yeah. yeah, I feel you on the agency thing. 
Um, so for yourself right now, do you have anything coming up for yourself as a nanny? Or if you want to share, do you have anything coming up with the nanny kid that you have planned? I know you got something. Tell them, you got anything coming up? I don't, um, know. <laughs> I don't have like anything specifically with my nanny kid. Um, mm-hmm. We don't, well, I plan stuff, but not like, I feel oh, like on Tuesdays we have this or like, um, but we do, I like to just take him out into the community in general. Like we have just kind of started doing that. Um, mm-hmm. The interesting, like we went to Hobby Lobby um, earlier today, earlier this week to get Mother's Day stuff. And okay. he was just like walking around the store, like he owned it. And he was like, so intrigued at everything. He's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> um, but personally, um, I have, well, me and a few other nannies. Uh, you got it. <laughs> I was waiting for this um, to come up. <laughs> like, I know yeah, you got that covered. <laughs> yeah, we have um, our next episode of A Different World series um, on Thursday. What is that? May 12th? Okay. May, May 12th, 12th okay. at 8 p.m. Eastern. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so, that one. yeah, we have that. Um, what else? I am in the process of like wanting to do a queer nanny yes. conversation for Pride yes. Month. So yeah, no, I'm still I think working you out the kinks. I gotta find. I gotta. I it's hard. Like I know yes. a couple of queer nannies, but I don't know a lot of them. So I gotta like really find some. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, no, but I bet you when you, you, even if it's only those couple, but I think if you all sit down, I bet you all can open a dialogue in this industry yeah. that we need, <laughs> like, to yeah. talk about. Because I know there's some people out there that are just not saying it, and yeah, they, they are. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. they just don't feel comfortable yet in this industry because no one's really made it comfortable for them, which yeah. is something that I feel like you can... You can take that challenge <laughs> on, which I know you can. <laughs> and I will be fully behind you supporting you. Yeah. So. <laughs> so what is your favorite thing about being a nanny? Why do you love it so much? What is your thing that keeps you going? <laughs> um, I feel like I learn something new, like every day, not only just about like my kiddo or just like being a nanny in general, but like about myself. Yep. Um. <clears throat> and I don't know, I, I'm like a big kid at heart, too. So I get a lot of joy out of just like, if I, I'm, if I, this is like something that I would do, even if I wasn't getting paid for it. Like, it's like my, my passion. So it doesn't feel well. No, it does. It is still work. I'm going to say no, that. I, 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 but you know, like, I, it doesn't. <laughs> I know where you're going with it. Yeah, but you know, like, it's it's not something where I'm, like... Dreading to go. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. If and anything, not. I just want to work because I want to work and not because I need to work. Like, that's how I, That's, like, where I am now as far as just, like, working in general. <laughs> but, um, no, I just... I don't know. It's really something about also being a part of a child's development and, like, especially when you start with them young, like eight weeks and mm-hmm. you, know, you get to see like little parts of yourself. I too. Was about to say, yeah. <laughs> like That's, you teach you know, sometimes, I, sometimes, sometimes I'm like, yeah. Um, I don't want me. My kiddo that I was with before I moved here, I was with him um, from eight weeks. And so, wow. yeah. And then I was with him for almost three years. Um, Man, and so hard, probably. Yeah, it really, it was. Um, but like his parents would say a lot, like a lot of who he is is like, because because of me, you know, that really, that really, that like, that those are the things that make me stay and like. And then yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, I feel you. Yeah, that, that's like all we need, even though after all the stuff we go through, but that little, little remark, hey, he, he got some things that you taught him, like, yes, like, you yeah. know, it's like we did, we did our job, <laughs> like, yeah. yes. like, we did something, or they, like, come in, and they say something, and you're like, yes, I just taught you that yesterday, right, like, oh, my God, yeah, I'm, I'm at that and, you know, like, right the parents now. will try to take, they, they try to take their little credit, like, yeah, I did, they I'm do. like, nah, like, you know, in the back of the head, you're like, nah, that was me, but we're gonna let head, you, I'm like, 
we've been working on that for two weeks, but you know, I'll let you have it. <laughs> Cause I'll I know, have we, I know. <laughs> and he know too. He know too. <laughs> he know too. Oh, yeah. thank you. So this is our last one. I'm going to end with this one. So if you can go back to tell yourself 10 years ago, since you've been a nanny for 10 years, what would you tell yourself in the beginning? Like, what would you tell yourself or <clears throat> go back and tell some, all the things um, you learned over 10 years? <laughs> I think that, yeah, me 10 years ago would tell myself to advocate more for myself. Um, Don't settle. I don't want to say know your worth because that's a little privileged. That's kind of privileged to say at times. Um, But just, yeah, mostly like advocate for myself. Um, Be confident in knowing that you, you know, you know what you're doing and like, don't let outside people make you doubt yourself and things like that um yeah because I still struggle with that now so I think if I would have been able to recognize that 10 years ago I would um not be further along but I would you know be a little I wouldn't be so timid when it comes to like setting boundaries at work and like having conversations Mm. that you know are about things that I need so Mm. yeah yeah (laughs) <laughs> no, I feel you. Yeah, that's something I would say to myself too. Just be more, I guess more, I don't want to say confident, but you know, just be more, you know, advocating in ourselves. That's the biggest challenge we deal with in this industry. So mm-hmm. it's funny because um, a lot of the nannies that I've asked over these interviews have had, I've asked the same question at the end, like, what is something that they do? And they're always telling themselves, like, just to be more confident, like, you got yeah. this. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> like, cause, and I'm like, that's what we are as a nanny. So we just got to keep reminding each other that we got yeah. this. Like, right. even though some of us <laughs> not think it. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was such an honor to sit down with you today and to hear your story a little bit to get so they can hear who kind of nanny cam is and where she comes from. Um, but we are looking forward to that. Um, you know, in June, when you bring out that conversation, you know, I think that's a really good topic to talk about. So I'm looking, we're looking forward to that. And you guys, she's in this really cool group with the conversations with um, a different world. We have a sponsorship with them this last week. So, um, and we are going to be doing some more promoting on our page or throughout it for them. It's such a, these conversations are things that we need to talk about in our industry. And every time I'm logging in and hear them, I'm like, oh, thank y'all for doing this. <laughs> <laughs> it hits me. I feel y'all through it. So um, thanks for sitting down with us, Cammy. We really appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> y'all, how amazing was that? Thank you so much, Cammy, for sitting down and sharing your story to everybody and just being so authentic with it. I know this is the first time that me and you actually got to sit down and really get to know each other. And it was truly an honor for me. I love you. I know that once we connect and um, meet up, our vibes will be very good with each other. And I'm just really excited. And I thank you so much for being on our channel and just being so open and honest about your story, how, who you is, and not afraid that you, not afraid that I'm Nanny Kim. Okay. (laughs) But guys, I really want you guys to go and watch these series that she has been doing. She has been sitting down with four other nannies. They are four black nannies, all have different experiences, all have been working with different families and they've came together and shared their experience, shared their tips, shared knowledge about what it's like being a black nanny and working with white families. And um, it's, it's just so powerful, guys. I mean, every single one of you, everybody needs to go and watch them. Um, Each week is a different topic each week each topic gets a little bit more juicier and it's just they're very powerful and impactful so thank you cami for really starting that series i i love it um i know that there's a lot of other nannies out there that love it too if you have not watched the series please go do it it's called a different world they sponsored our episode a few weeks ago when we interviewed with courtney she um we did a sponsorship for them and they've been doing series left and right you can find all of the um lives on nanny cam's um, instagram page which goes by nanny underscore cam so guys go watch them they're they're good okay really good and thank you so much, Cami, for sitting down with us today and being our last nanny interview. And that's that's a wrap, guys. That's the wrap for the nanny industry, nanny series, nanny interview series. I don't know what y'all want to call it. I've just been sitting, I'm calling it a nanny series. 
it was so much fun just to sit down with all these nannies and really hear their story and just how unique they are and just where they come from and some of these people have been in the game for so long and I look up to every single one of those women little did they know um, I look up to them more than they probably even realize um, just because I haven't been in this industry for that long and just to hear other people and their, their stories and what they're doing to make this impact in this industry is just truly an honor. So I wanna thank each and every one of you five nannies that have sat down with me, taken the time out of your day to share, to sit with me and talk with me, um, allowing to share your story, be so authentic with it. Um, I It's been a privilege for me. I know this is not the end of our nanny series. I think I'm gonna keep doing this. Um, each and maybe every other month, you know, pull in a nanny interview to get so I can get more nannies in here. I think a lot of people have really enjoyed these interviews and just getting to hear what other nannies are doing. And that's what I want to do here in nanny announcements is just to get you guys is out, get you get you out here. Like use me as the person to get you out. Okay. Like if you want to sit down with me, let me know so I can get you out in my page, get you your name out here. Um and yeah, let me know if you want to sit down and do an interview. Let me know if you'd like to be on the channel. And y'all stay tuned because this month is our birthday month, y'all. We finna turn, I'm turning 28 this year, guys. June 16th is my birthday. We are going to be partying it up all week. I got a couple events planning uh, coming up. Um, so stay tuned for that. Watch out for the announcements for that. Um, and just ride, you know, keep riding this wave with me, y'all. And I just want to thank you all so much for just watching and taking the time out to watch these episodes. So I'll see you all next week for back to our juicy, juicy stories. I got some juicy ones. I can't wait to share them with you. Y'all have a wonderful, blessed week. I love all y'all. Bye.